Hi guys, welcome back. I don't really like the single. Welcome back. So today's gonna be a very interesting video because we're going to be reading some juicy, 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 juicy secrets that my friends have submitted for me in a Google form. And I'm quite intrigued because this seems like this just seems very interesting. I don't really know how it's gonna go, but we're going we're just gonna roll with it and we're going to read all these juicy ones. And all of them are anonymous. So I'm not gonna tell you who they are if I know who they are, but yeah. So the first one, if it isn't for you and a couple other really close friends that came to mind during my darkest moments, I'd really doubt if I would even still be here right now. It's kind of hard for me to love people sometimes. I don't know how to explain it or put it into words, but man, I really love you. Thanks for everything. You have no idea how much you mean to me. The one and only Kiki. P.S. If you start crying while reading this, I'm going to beat you. Your bomb. <laughs> I'm gonna beat yours. I'm in the closet. I actually got quite a lot of these and I'll go through them and you'll see. That, and I'm like, please tell me. Like I want to know. And I pushed myself to be hypersexual in middle school and even the end of elementary school because I thought there was something wrong with me for not liking it as much as others do. And it led to some really weird fantasies. I would daydream about monsters, gory fantasies, even occasional gore or vore to try and get some feelings going. It didn't work out so well. What does hypersexual mean? I do not know what that means. Hypersexuality is extremely frequent or suddenly increased lib libido. What? What is that? <laughs> Copy and paste. A person's overall se Oh, okay. So it has to do with desire for... Okay, okay, okay. So basically, they're asexual now, I think. I sent around my news in 8th grade and said they were another girl's news. <laughs> wow. So wait, I'm confused. So you sent them to other boys and then they all like would share them about her and she was like, that's not me, it was somebody else. I'm confused, but that's very interesting. When I was younger, I drove the go or I'm gonna say that four wheeler into the lake and then blamed my brother because it was my uncle's and he scares me so bad. How many of us like blame our younger siblings for things that we do? Like, like that's just human nature. You know what I mean? I've probably done the same thing a few times. And then I'm by evil devil face. <laughs> I love to make people smile, to give them a good day on the worst of days. I'm glad they think I'm fine, that I'm happy all the time, that every heart has its secrets, which the world knows not. Yet oftentimes when I'm happy, I'm actually really sad. I feel you. Literally, I feel like everybody thinks I'm like happy all the time. I know there's a lot of like pick me people, you know, like that's like the stereotype, but I actually struggle with this and it's like a thing where I kind of like put on a show, if you know what I mean. It's kind of like being fake, but it's only to make other people happier. So like you fake positivity and you try to be more happy around other people because you don't want them to like deal with negativity. If you go through it, then you know what I'm talking about, but it is a very difficult thing. So I'm gonna wish you luck with that, but never be afraid to share your emotions that's what I'm trying to work on. I still sing Hannah Montana in my car. <laughs> LOL. I sing lots of songs in my car. I jam out to the SpongeBob SquarePants Yellow Album. Best album ever. <laughs> and I also love Backyardigans. Like, I started jamming out to some of their songs. Castaways, you know. Castaways. We are castaways. So I know what you mean. My friend had a really bad pregnancy scare. She said that if she found out she was pregnant, she would give all legal rights to me. So basically, I nearly became a mom. Oh, and I walked in at my friend and her brother doing. <laughs> so yeah. Oh my god, it's not funny. <laughs> oh no. Could you imagine walking in to that? Her and her brother? Ooh. Mm -mm. I'm actually an alien from Mary 51. How? How does that happen? How does that work? What's being alien like? Is it true that they live in on Mars? How big are their d I'm just kidding. Anyway, <laughs> I'm also bisexual and haven't come out yet. Evil devil face. Oh, and then there's two more after that. OMG, me three. Kissy face, heart emoji. Bye. And then somebody just typed bye. <laughs> Breathing gets harder every day. I don't know what you mean. Like, do you mean like panic attacks, anxiety attacks, or just like, like you struggle every day? If you mean like it's, it's like every day seems like it's getting harder and more difficult to live, I totally agree. Um, Sorry. <laughs> I just started staring off the distance for a second and I don't know why, but I just started like thinking and I don't know. I think I was trying to remember what I was going to say. I read the smuttiest books there are and I'm not ashamed. What does smuttiest mean? Obscene or l l last? 
Lascivious. What? Lascivious. Oh, lascivious. <laughs> not lascivious or lascivious. Okay, I know what you mean. That sounds fun. I am not a fan of Fifty Shades of Grey, but you do you. Well, I'm also bisexual. So my friends know, but I'm better off not letting everyone know I like to keep it a secret. That is understandable. I'm in love with someone who isn't my boyfriend. Um, that's illegal. Anyways, I want to just drop everything and everyone and just do nothing and watch Netflix all day and I can't tell if it's because I'm lazy or depressed. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, it could be either one of them. I think nowadays it's that I'm lazy, but it used to be before that I was like really depressed. Anyways, everyone besides my family knows I'm a lesbian. I have a trans girlfriend and my family is transphobic and homophobic. That is awful. I don't, don't understand homophobia and transphobia. I don't really understand it, but I'm really happy for you that you have a trans girlfriend, that you're living your life no matter what. And you know, don't be afraid to be yourself no matter what your parents say no matter what anybody else says don't be afraid to be yourself where did my pride flag go i have my pride flag my homemade one and my pride eraser happy pride month everybody happy pride month i still snuggle with my dinosaur that i've had since a baby to help me go to sleep that is understandable i know friends who still have cuddle buddies and one of my friends encouraged me to get a cuddle buddy as well and it's amazing All right, the next one. I watched lesbian in second grade and still somehow thought I was straight. Oh God. <laughs> That's not a bad thing. I mean, you know, I think every kid looks at some things, you know, they're not supposed to. It just like it's a little hee hee hee. But um, I mean, you do you and you go. That's just funny though. Second grade, I bit my toenails for way too long. I have never bitten my toenails before because in my opinion, that sounds disgusting. But I've bitten my fingernails before and I've kind of gotten out of the habit of it which is nice because I used to buy them all the time. Um, anyways, I used to suck on my hair and the only reason I stopped is because my mom told me I would get hairballs like a cat. I mean, how would that even, how would that even taste? Like, would that taste gross? That would taste gross. Especially, like, if you had soap in your hair still, like, or, like, after you got out of the shower. I couldn't imagine. I think it's funny how your mom said you would get hairballs like a cat. <laughs> what? One time, I let my hair get so dirty because I refused to take a shower that when my bangs got in my eyes, it gave me an eye infection. Oh, goody. That sounds like so much fun. I like Braden Gibson. He's a hottie. Don't we all? Some people I'm not actually friends with, but I don't want to be on their bad side, so I force myself to be friendly. Honestly, same. I watched in third grade, and I felt so bad about it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Why is everybody watching that in elementary school? If my friend likes someone I like, I'll try to get them together and to make them happy. That is a great person right there. That is an amazing person. If my friend liked somebody that I liked, I would probably beat them up. I'm just kidding, but I would, I could never do that. Oh, I could never try to get them together. That would just be like hard for me. So kudos to you. If I don't pop my back in the morning, I physically cannot walk by like 4 p.m. I have to pop my back sometimes. I've been actually having like really bad back problems. Um, It just happens like here and there and I went to the doctor. Anyways, that is all we have. That is everything. And um, that was pretty juicy. Thank you to everybody who got in the video. I, I don't know who all, you know, did their thing, but I'm excited for you to see the video. I hope you enjoy it. And yeah, thanks for being a part of this video. Before you go, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and give this video a like. And also add me on Snapchat, down to number 13, and follow my Instagram, December 05. I'm at like 572 followers. I want to get to 600. So help me out. And I hope you guys have a beautiful day. I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys. Very important secret. <laughs> I'm pregnant with love.